Hello Facebook and YouTube followers. This is Half Man, Half Cichlid. Did you ever wonder what are the top reasons for aquarium room, fish tank, or home-related fish tank disasters? Follow me and I'll go through the nine reasons for such disasters. Okay, let me uh, first introduce you briefly to my 340 gallon grow out tank that's uh, behind me. I haven't done a video on this aquarium in a long time, uh, since most of the focus has moved to my 500 since I installed it. But anyway, let's, anyway, let's get back to uh, aquarium disasters. What is an aquarium disaster? It's anything that uh, has huge consequences in terms of our fish, uh, impact on our hobby, our home, or even our relationships. I've heard of more than one individual who's had to sleep on the couch because of a flood from their aquarium. I've had 57 years in the hobby, and believe me, I've experienced quite a number of these disasters myself. Uh, I've also researched, probed, checked with colleagues, and uh, I've got a pretty good profile over the last uh, years, and especially the last five years, and what are the top things that events or root causes that create aquarium disaster. And that, that's what this video is about, the top nine disasters. By the way, these nine root causes of aquarium uh, disasters are not in any particular order. And the first one being the aquarium splits or cracks. What happens quite often is the glass will crack or the uh, silicone, in the case of a, a glass aquarium, will let loose. In this case, an entire front panel on this aquarium let loose. So in my findings, what are some of the reasons for the splits and cracks of, of aquariums? Glass tanks have a higher incidence, as do used tanks, do-it-yourself aquariums. Uh, there are some manufacturers that are known for higher incidence of tank defects. Uh, st DIY stands that uh, are not made correctly or are not level. And of course, the location of your your tank failure can have a tremendous impact on property damage. Obviously, garage and basements would be less damage. The second root cause for aquarium uh, disasters is aquarium heaters. I know these are troubling and uh, ugly pictures of what can happen with heaters, but uh, ruining of an aquarium or even a fire in one's house is not uh, that uncommon. The uh, reasons behind the uh, heater failure can include an inferior brand, go on Amazon. Some brands have a much higher failure rate, not having a heater controller that'll shut it off at a certain temperature, not having a, or having a, a broken or cracked uh, heater, especially if you're not aware that it's broken or cracked and the water fills it up, uh, or not having a ground fault, fault interrupter that shuts off power to the heater in the event that uh, a uh, electrical surge and failure is detected. Surprisingly, a big contributor to aquarium disasters is uh, water changes. On the surface, water changes look uh, very innocent, but in fact, there's a signif significant opportunity for chlorine burn of your fish. There's also variability in the water supplied by your water company. And of course, there's also the risk of uh, flooding during a water change. A surprising number of people forget to add dechlorinator when they add the replacement water after a water change. It's happened to me with disastrous results twice in the last five years. Also, 
forget if you're on the phone and you forget about the fact that you're filling your aquarium, this happens quite often. There's a flood. And lastly, there can be quite a difference in the level of chlorine from your water supply week to week and day to day. The fourth root cause of aquarium disasters is uh, plumbing failures. All those hoses and clamps on your canister filters and on your sumps, it's, a, it's an opportunity that's ripe for something to pop off and flood. So what I've seen happen is uh, tubing that burst due to excess pressure or a defect and also hose clamps that popped. The fifth root cause of an aquarium disaster is the poisoning of your fish. There are quite a few toxins that our aquarium inhabitants can be exposed to and uh, we certainly never want to uh, have a situation like this uh, where all our fish uh, die of poisoning. So some of the examples I've seen where people have poisoned their fish include uh, uh, getting cleaning supplies or even pest controls uh, somehow into the aquarium water and even driftwood that wasn't uh, prepared properly. Also, we have to be careful about home improvement projects and the chemicals we use around the house. Number six on the list of aquarium disaster root causes is ammonia burn. We're all very aware that ammonia and ammonium in the aquarium is very lethal to our fish. And we're also aware that uh, of the importance of the nitrogen cycle in neutralizing that ammonia. So what are some examples of uh, ammonia, the, the causes of ammonia burn? In inadequate biofiltration, the tank isn't fully cycled, and also uh, overfeeding of your fish, uh, all of which can and will create excess ammonia that will harm your fish. The seventh root cause of aquarium disasters is uh, disease. Diseases run from simple that can be cleared up in a couple days to diseases that will wipe out your entire aquarium. Some of the root causes of, of uh, disease, in my experience, are ammonia burn, which I had just covered, not quarantining your fish when you buy new specimens, stress, and lastly, my experience combining wild-caught fish with uh, domestically raised. The eighth root cause of aquarium disasters is a power and equipment failures. You'll find many videos on YouTube about power failures and what people experienced and uh, how to uh, recover from and survive them. And last but not least are surprises that occur while we're gone on vacation. For me personally, I've had trees fall in the house, I have had floods, and you can just imagine for a complex uh, fish room, as in this picture, the different things that can go wrong. So some of the uh, vacation surprises that can cause an, a disaster include a fish dying and not being caught, overfeeding of the fish while you're gone, something simple in terms of equipment or aquarium malfunction becoming serious and it not being caught. Uh, good intentions, folks who try to fix things while you're gone on your behalf and don't know how. Poor backup, having the wrong person, uh, taking care of your aquarium, and, and lastly, not having redundant systems in case one fails. In closing, I hope these uh, nine root causes of aquarium disasters were uh, was enlightening to you and perhaps uh, uh, opened your eyes in terms of some vulnerabilities that you may have with your aquariums or in your fish room that can be addressed before you experience an aquarium disaster.